I'm James Johnson, and you're watching Niagara Pro Tips. Welcome back. Hopefully you watched the first Nequal Part 1 video and explained some of the relations and tags I have set up in my stations. So now we're going to start trying to query some of these things based on using these tags and relations. And uh, I have the search service tab open uh, in my supervisor station and also uh, in my J station. So to start off with, I'm going to uh, be searching in the J station here, uh, which has the actual BACnet network or a BACnet network with the uh, floor and these BACnet devices. So if I perform a, a simple NQL search, like maybe HS colon point, that will find uh, all of the control points in the station, which will obviously be a, a fair number of points. And uh, I, I was using HS point, but I could have used N colon point. I could have used uh, maybe the name if I was searching for specific points, but that's showing me all of the points in the station. Now, if I wanted to uh, look at just some specific points, maybe from Air Handler 1, that's where I might need to also uh, think about traversing a relation. And what we mean by traversing a relation is I find the point and I can traverse the relation, maybe the n colon parent relation to its parent to the points container and then traverse the parent relation again up to the air handler device so that I could check maybe the n colon name tag on the air handler. So if I wanted to uh, limit this, this search maybe to only show me the points associated with air handler one, that's where I would need to do a traversal on the relation. So I could do something like and n colon parent, and then I have to specify the direction of the relation. So if it's outbound from the point, it'll be dash and greater than. If it was inbound, it would be less than and dash. And I'll, I'll show you the reciprocal relation here in a second. Uh, n colon parent again from the points container outbound that should get me to the device and then I can s check the n colon name tag equals hu underscore 01 and this should find just the control points that are associated with air handler 1 so now my my results are much more limited just to air handler 1 uh, I could have used the reciprocal relationship. So instead of using the outbound n colon parent relationship, I could have used the inbound n colon child relationship. Really, all I need to do is is reverse um, the direction of that uh, traversal is the main thing. So instead of uh, using n outbound n colon parent, I could have also used n colon child and then done less than dash for the inbound direction of the relation that I want to check. And I would check the uh, n colon child relation again, inbound. And again, the, the uh, n colon name tag on that remote component being maybe air handler one, or I can change this to air handler two. Now I should still find uh, the same number of points, assuming the, the, the devices are set up with the same number of control points. You can see by the slot paths here that it's now looking at air handler two instead of air handler one for the control points that it's found. So that's using just the Niagara Dictionary, uh, the, the smart relations that are available there. Now, uh, there's also, uh, you know, the Niagara Dictionary also has these driver-centric relationships as well. So maybe if I wanted to be a little more fault tolerant uh, of the fact that my points might be in different point containers underneath the points folder, and they might be a different number of levels deep underneath the points container, I might want to consider using, a, say, a parent device relation outbound or an inbound child point, because regardless of the number of, of levels between the point and the device, this should resolve correctly. So uh, instead of maybe using uh, these multiple um, relations here, what I could use is the n colon uh, parent device relation, just a single outbound relation, and then check the air handler device uh, to see uh, which points are related to that specific device. And so you can see again, air handler three is what's showing up in the slot path here on all these points. And uh, it's simpler, a, sing a single traversal, one relation instead of multiple relations being traversed there. Um, we could also leverage the reciprocal uh, and colon child point as an inbound relation, uh, just like I showed on the, the uh, previous example. I don't think there's much, much need to maybe do that. Uh, we could also 
uh, potentially use the haystack relations as well. So I have an outbound HS equip ref relation going from the point uh, to the, the device. So uh, over here, instead of the Niagara parent relationship, if I wanted to, I could use the HS colon equip ref relation and tell it to look for the points under air handler four. And it finds all those. So I mentioned that uh, I also um, had used system database and indexed all of the remote tags and relations of interest in the J station in the supervisor level as well. So using the search service in the supervisor, and mind you, there's no um, points actually mapped in under um, any of these uh, connections here. So if I look at the um, points container here, uh, there's actually a, a total lot. Uh, there are a few points mapped in here um, for uh, one of the devices, uh, but uh, none of the other devices either. Um, Air Handler 2 doesn't have our building uh, floor 2 and floor 3 and so forth. There's no points mapped in. Um, when you're looking in the uh, search service and you configure with the gear icon, the scope selection can be the config, which is that station space, or in this case, just system database, or you can have um, multiple selected there holding the control key or the shift key. So what I've done is just set this to search the system database only, not the local station in the supervisor. And if I search for uh, HS colon point, then uh, we should see that it'll find uh, a, a good number of points here across the multiple stations. Now, if I try the same uh, type of uh, relation traversal here, uh, of using the uh, Niagara network. I just want to show this as an example. Uh, if I use the, the N colon parent relation traversal, uh, it, it may not work for me. So if I do N colon parent outbound, that'll get to the points container, N colon parent outbound, which would be the device, and then check N colon name equals A2 underscore one. Now, I don't expect this to find anything. And the reason for this is that uh, the system database indexes the control points, and it indexes the devices and the device folders and the networks. But by default, it doesn't actually index the point device extensions. Uh, you can change it. You can update the uh, system database queries to include the point device extensions, but by default, they're not included. So uh, I, I really can't use the parent parent because that component, the point device extension, hasn't been indexed in the system database. I should, however, be able to use n colon uh, parent device uh, outbound relation and check the name. And that should find the, the 23 points under air handler one. And uh, this will be using the virtual ord space um, through the virtual gateway to, to display the point values and potentially the graphics. So it's, it is possible to still use these same queries at the supervisor level, but you have to understand what may or may not be indexed by the system database then and possibly adjust your, uh, your indexing queries. All right, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea on how to traverse relations and some basics on searching for tags. And uh, we'll do another video uh, focusing more on the on the equal queries and traversing the relationships and showing how some of that can build a hierarchy against the system database, which would then allow us to leverage the on-demand PX views. So stay tuned for more information. Thank you.